Meru County Governor Kawira Mwangaza was impeached by members of the Meru County Assembly in a motion held on Wednesday. Out of 69, a total of 59 MCAs, of whom were at the assembly, voted in support of the impeachment motion. Again, based on my speaker, wa Kristu mara nyingi ufunga na kusali pasipo hata kupata maji ama chakula mheshimiwa speaker. Sembuza sisi ambao tunawakilisha mahelfu ya watu mheshimiwa speaker. Maana tunajua kwamba yapo masaa, yapo ya zipo siku, ipo miongo na kadhalika mheshimiwa speaker. Kwa hivyo naunga kwa kauli moja kwamba hata ikifika saa kumi na mbili ama saa tatu mheshimiwa speaker tuangazie mambo haya bayana ndipo Samuel aweze kuelewa ni kipi ambacho the one hour motion debating to eject the governor was brought by majority leader Evans Mawira. And we, the representatives of the people, we have made a decision, Honorable Speaker, that we must bring back the glory, bring back the dignity, bring back the Meru County that we knew, Honorable Speaker, that was avant and honored all over in this country and beyond on our speaker. This is the second time the governor is impeached by the Meru Assembly after the first attempt last year failed at the Senate Assembly. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for purposes of records. My name is Makena Jennifer Murogosho, MCA of Kidwanair Wand and also the chairperson on youth, uh, gender, sports and uh, um, community services. Mr. Speaker, there is a letter which has been unloosed for you seeking for an extension, an extension of not less than a month so that we can finish up with the bill and then look at these nominees. Attempts by Governor Mwangaza's defense team to absorb her from blame fell flat as MCS went on to eject her from office. Mr. Speaker, I want to continue from uh, where we left. That is number Number four, on deprecation of roles of chief officer in the office of the governor and the chief of staff still under the office of the governor. The impeachment comes after MCS on Monday completed mandatory public participation hearings in nine sub-counties and retreated to write a final report that was tabled in the assembly on Wednesday. So thank you, Honorable Speaker. Because of time constraint, I second the motion. The MCS accused Governor Mongaza of committing seven violations which formed grounds for her impeachment. In the first count, the MCS accused Mwangaza of misappropriation and misuse of county resources. They claimed the governor has been, among others, embezzling county funds using her relatives including sisters, a brother and a nephew. A letter county executive committee member for finance dated 11th October 2023 declining to furnish a certified copy of Meru County of Ms. Repons on frivolous grounds does inviting an adverse influence against the governor in relation to the complaint raised by Mutuma Salesio Duranera, a copy of which is produced on pages that one to that two of the exhibits. They accused the governor of making withdrawals of county funds under the guise of payment for various supplies that were made by her relatives. B. Pay slips for Dr. John Tweety, Joseph Keturem Beria, and Kennedy Kemali Mbae copies of which are produced on page 33 to 41 of the exhibits, and E, the Maua Chief Magistrate's Court Miscellaneous Criminal Application Number E085 of 2023, a copy of which is produced on pages 42 to 47 of the exhibits. F, charge sheets against Alessio Monene Kanga Alaya Samaritan and Isayan Toribi Kiyuki, employees of the county government, relating to the violence that they obtained at the governor's Okolea rally at Makiri, copies of which are produced on pages 48 to 49 of the exhibits. MCAs also claimed that Governor Mwangaza diverted country resources for personal use. The G slips for Salesio Munene Kanga, La Samaritan and Isayan Toribi Kiyuki confirming their status as employees of the county, copies of which are produced on pages 50 to 51 of the exhibits and H 
A video recording of the violence that erupted at Ma the Maokolea rally and at Makiri on 16th September 2023, which is saved in the flash disk presented here with and the transcript of which is produced on pages 52 to 53 of the exhibits. Mwangaza was also accused of nepotism and unrelented and ethical practices where she was said to have employed and taken her relatives on overseas trips in the demeanor that they are experts. Count number two, Honorable Speaker, nepotism and related and ethical practices. The governor has grossly violated, among others, Articles 10, Articles 232, 235, and 236 of the Constitution, Sections 12, 17, and 24 of the Public Officer Ethics Act, 2003, Sections 13, uh, Subsection 1, B, F, Subsection 16 and 24 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012, and Sections 55, 59, 59, AA 60, 62, 63, 64, and 65 of the County Governments Act 2012 by engagement, convenience, and or completely in the following. A. Fraudulently misrepres misrepresenting the Governor's relatives as a technical team for purposes of travel to China to inspect and certify cancer treatment equipment while knowing that the Governor's relatives are not medical professionals. B. Employing Edwin Motuma Morangiri, who is a nephew to the governor's husband, as the CEO of Meru County, as the CEO of Meru Youth Service (MYS) and acting chief officer of the Department of Finance, C. the designation of Nefat Kenya, who is the governor's brother-in-law, as the director of external leakages without transparent and competitive recruitment, and D. Assigning diplomatic duties namely engagements with foreign diplomats and dignitaries to our unqualifying sisters, that is Miriam Guantai, PA, and Rose Guantai, bodyguard. The MCS also alleged on bullying, vilification, and demanding of other leaders in the county, illegal appointments, and usurpation of statutory powers. Bullying, undermining, and posting insulting and demeaning messages about the, uh, the deputy governor in our subgroup, styled that government 012, whose membership includes several officers who are subordinate to the deputy governor. C. Encouraging and condoning in subordination and the making of insulting and demeaning public utterances by subordinate staff against the deputy governor and other elected leaders. Moreover, Mwangaza is accused of contempt of court, illegally naming a public road under her husband without following statutory procedures and contempt of the assembly. C. Encouraging and condoning in subordination and the making of insulting and demeaning public utterances by subordinate staff against the deputy governor and other elected leaders. Lawyer Dunstan Omari, however, put up a spirited fight to defend Governor Mwangaza against accusations leveled towards her. While shielding his client from nepotism claims, Omari argued that allegations the governor employed her close relatives to office are baseless. So let us not contextualize and put matters when it is convenient. When the war against the community is there, all of us join together and say we are brothers and sisters. But when the war is against the governor, then the governor is separated. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, that is the basis of me saying that there is no nepotism involved in that matter. And to go further, the people mentioned are members of the National Police Service. They earn salary from the National Police Service. They are seconded. The county assembly wants the governor to get a bodyguard of their choice. A bodyguard is specific to a particular body. Loyalty, trust is number one. If governor trusts the system, the message is she does not trust any of you. She trusts her sister who can carry food for her, who can do personal things for her. And that is why that sister was employed by the National Police Service Commission long time ago. Why is it not an issue when she was employed and went to Kiganjo? It is an issue now. 
That is the question we are saying, that let us not also look at these issues from that angle. Article 245 and 244 gives the National Police Service Commission the power to assess the risks involved. Members ask, we are told, we have assessed, we'll give you two officers of your choice. On the question of procurement, Omari argued that the governor was not a signatory to any bind, hence the assembly cannot punish collectively. Is our governor a signatory to the tender process? Is our governor anywhere involved in the tender board? At the opening stage, at the evaluation stage, at the award stage, so that we are now saying are we punishing for collective punishment or individual punishment? See, letters in English and Chinese by Beijing Ling Tech Company Limited, date 25th April 2023, inviting the governor to China to benchmark cancer treatment equipment for installation at a cancer treatment center in Meru, copies of which are produced on pages 60 to 67 of the exhibits. Letter from the county government to the State Department for Devolution, dated 26th May 2023, a copy of which is produced on pages 68 to 67 of the exhibits. An internal memo by Kusa Azel to the Principal Secretary, State Department for Devolution. Sorry. Uh, an internal memo by Kusa Azel to the Principal Secretary, State Department for Devolution, dated 5th June 2023 a copy of which is produced on pages 76 to 85 of the exhibits. Omari was given two hours to defend the governor against the planned impeachment. Sandra Kidamani, Maisha Prime, Maisha Television.